Today's video is brought to you by Epic Hats. This is without a doubt one of the coolest hats I've ever owned with an HD wide angle camera built into the front that allows you to take pictures and videos. It is great for outdoor activities and I'll be using this hat to film content here for the channel. If you'd like to check out Epic Hats, links in the description down below. So today I want to give you guys my final thoughts on iOS 12.3. The software is currently sitting in beta 4 and I wanted to give you guys my experience running the software on a new and old device and should you update when Apple releases 12.3 which by the way is soon to be released now today on monday the 6th we were expecting beta 5 but apple did not release any betas for the software now that usually indicates that apple is soon to be releasing the software once they start pushing beta after beta and then they sort of stop a week in between that usually indicates that apple should be releasing the software fairly soon and as i mentioned i want to give you guys my thoughts on my experience any bugs that i've come across and how this is running on new and older devices as well so we can expect the software to be released anywhere towards the end of the month of May, right in time, right before WWDC on June 3rd. So we can expect iOS 12.3 to be released any minute now. We could see maybe a Gold Master copy before the official launch, but the software won't be getting any major features or changes from this point on out. Now, the most important change in feature with an iOS 12.3 is the TV application. As you see here, we have a brand new icon. If we take a look here at previous versions of iOS, that icon icon right there was the TV application icon and now it looks like this and Apple is making it very clear with iOS 12.3 very apparent that they want you to use one single application for all of your streaming services. So this is Apple's sort of take on Netflix, if you will. The TV application has been redesigned from the ground up. Everything looks a lot nicer, it's polished. You even have an account categories here up at the top. So when you update to 12.3, you'll have all your connected applications under this account. All of your streaming services will be under the TV application where you can stream all your content, including live content as well. Now at the bottom, we have a cleaner look, just three buttons, watch now, library, search, and that's it. Now, Apple, again, is making it very clear that they want you to purchase and stream all the content directly within the TV application. No longer will you be redirected to the App Store or anything like that. You can buy content directly within the TV application. And you can also try the one week free trial that Apple does uh, feature here on their categories for you know HBO channels, Showtime channels. You can go ahead and start your free one week trial for all these channels directly to stream on the new TV application for iOS. So with iOS 12.3, that is the core function of the software. But what about performance? How is this software behaving? How is battery? How's everything on a new and old device? Well, I've been testing the software since beta one on a device like the iPhone SE, which is one of the oldest iPhones to support the software. And I have to say, iOS 12.3, and I keep saying this and I'll say it again, is running a lot better on an older device like the iPhone SE at times than it does on a newer device like an iPhone XS or an even an iPhone 8. In regards to battery, I have no complaints. New devices as well as old devices have great battery life on 12.3. All of the features that you'll find with the TV service on a new device, you'll find on an older device as well. Now in regards to performance where you go and browse through the OS, everything is butter. Nothing is stuttering, everything flows the way it should. And I'm really happy to see that because Apple is really focusing on putting these older devices up to par in regards to performance with this software iOS 12.3. Everything else that I want to talk about with iOS 12.3 is in regards to new devices. Now, there's been so many, so many issues on new devices, especially the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XS. Are. Those of you who own these devices, I've been countering Wi-Fi connectivity and cell connectivity issues on and off. Now, unfortunately, this is something that's been ongoing for a while there, iOS 12.2. It appeared to be fixed, but on iOS 12.3, unfortunately, here, the beta 4, uh, it still has some minor issues with Wi-Fi and cell connectivity. Now, this could be a hardware issue. I'm not sure what Apple did previously to prevent this from being so apparent on iOS 12.2, but back on 12.3, it appears that these issues continue to happen. Now, they're not as consistent as before, but unfortunately on newer devices, the issues with Wi-Fi and cell connectivity appeared to continue, at least sporadically on the iPhone XS, which is my primary device. So the question is, should you update to iOS 12.3 on an older or newer iPhone? Now, my 
personal opinion, if you're running iOS 12.2 on a new device, I would definitely stay back on 12.2 until Apple releases maybe 12.3.1 or 12.4 in the future. Unfortunately, that goes for iPhone 10s, 10s Max, and 10R. I would not update to iOS 12.3 until Apple continues to improve upon especially those Wi-Fi issues and cell connectivity issues. Now on an older device like the iPhone 10s, iPhone 6, iPhone 7, those devices I would definitely update quickly. Everything uh, is polished up, everything is running nice. I can't complain about battery, no stutter, no hiccups. Everything is flowing the way it should. Performance is there. Apple did a great job, I have to say, with iOS 12.3 on every device from iPhone 7 and below that supports the software. But again, I don't recommend it on a newer device like the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, and 10R until further notice. But again, if you're into the TV service and you want the latest and greatest, and you don't mind sporadic Wi-Fi cell connectivity issues, then iOS 12.3 could be for you on a newer device as well. This has got to be one of the times where I don't recommend updating to a software immediately. Just let all the bugs and kinks be sorted out here in the point zero updates like 12.3.1 or 12.3.2 and things like that. I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, thank you for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.